This is a preview of the lecture video available on the ultrasound educational website www.sonoshare.in on the topic gas and abdominal sonography. Short snippets of the uh, various parts of the lecture video will follow. This is only a preview of all the layers, subcutaneous fat, the muscle, and uh, you see the uh, long uh, 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 echogenic line of gas as opposed to the broken um, gas pattern we see normally. This is a very long. Uh, so, this case um, uh, kindled uh, my interest in the gas patterns in the abdomen, and that is the uh, this lecture is outcome of that. We will see the various uh, situations where uh, the gas is useful uh, uh, in under which I will describe the various um, uh, case scenarios where gas is useful echogenic lines indicating that it is pneumobenia and when you look for the common duct you will see the gallbladder will not be seen anastomosis after a synctotomy to uh, retrieve a calculus or after a placement of a stent to uh, gallstone causing obstruction to the bowel. So, this is features of gallstone ileus. So, which is uh, uh, diagnosed as possible uh, a spontaneous cold duct of duodenal fistula because of uh, the duodenal fistula uh, the sludge forms within the common duct. Patient in erect. So, when the patient is in erect and uh, the biliary tree is obstructed and containing gas, what will happen? The gas will go into the non dependent uh, cogenic uh, uh, lesions uh, within the liver and uh, uh, here, here. So, and uh, when you see the portal vein, you may see the streaming of gas bubbles, whether it is gas in an abscess or is it calcification. So, how to differentiate? We will take the, um, it may be clinical in calcification, patient will not be acutely sick. Whereas in a liver abscess with the enhancement, whereas in the anterior part, that is non dependent part of the abscess, you get gas. So, that produces shadowing. So, this differentiates that it is not calcified to point out that it is acute emphysematous cholecystitis. So, here you see uh, the gas bubbles from the posterior aspect uh, moving in the lumen of the uh, diverticulum. So, here uh, you see uh, an acute patient presenting as acute uh, upper abdominal pain and patient is quite sick and uh, on the uh, bowel wall uh, not in the center. So, uh, that means it is in the wall of the uh, bowel indicate mark uh, uh, left hypochondria. You see the uh, fluid filled stomach in a patient um, presenting with uh, epigastric pain. So, this is the uh, Morrison's pouch uh, between the liver and the uh, right kidney or you can get uh, between the anterior abdominal wall and the right lobe of liver. So, here just uh, this is just one bubble of ga uh, gas uh, post traumatic. So, here this case was actually a small bowel tear. Now, this is um, uh, patient. Uh, so, when you correlate uh, we can suspect that the cyst has caused um, uh, valvulus and uh, perforation of bubble. So, you look for medial to the cyst, you look for the whirlpool sign of the demonstration of you see the gas long uh, stretch of gas with compression the gas is displaced and you see the loculated ascites with the debris inside. So, that the abscess is due to uh, perforation of bubble and uh, within the abscess uh, low down you see the thickened appendix <coughs> indicating that it is an appendicular uh, lecture on uh, diverticulitis. So, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, confirm, uh, so now uh, there is gas posterior to the right kidney. So, when you come uh, little lower down, you see an abscess in the right uh, in with the gas in the right repertoire the center of the mass you see gas. So, on uh, giving oral fluid you see the displacement of the uh, gas with uh, fluid. You will see this uh, in the uh, confirming it is a gist of this bubble and when you take um, the section here 
you see the bowel and you see the two lumens the native lumen and the lumen of the uh, two uh, the bowel loop so that was the uh, gas in the wall of the aneurysm with the track to the bowel indicate you can see so anterior to the liver and uh, whether it is pneumoperitoneum or is it gas in the wall of the uh, abdomen so you do high frequency you see gas in the uh, the left iliac fossa and a scan showed uh, an echo power uh, tract uh, with gas uh, in the uh, within the tract and uh, obstruction obstruction to uh, the proximal loop as well as distal loop as a result the in between the uh, loop of the right iliac fossa we get a fluffy gas pattern because of uh, uh, gas in the colon but here you see uh, fluid distended bowel which is not uh, uh, not normal so it can be a fluid distended colon or small bowel colon and uh, there is no uh, extension of gas outside here you see the normal colon you see the extension of the nature of a polyp within the uh, uh, bowel either small bowel or large bowel and when you use high frequency you not a phytobezoar this was a trichobezoar now this is um, uh, is collapsed so the pattern of gas in the core having gone through the preview if you wish to listen to the main lecture video go to sonoshare.in